Jeannie Mae reacts to Jay-Z calling her a gatekeeper. And it was kind of hard. So yeah, it's, it's yeah. what I'm dealing with day by day, you know? The most broken version of me, I also met the strongest version of me. The recent drama surrounding Jin Mei and Jesus' custody battle over their daughter Monaco has sparked a lot of discussions and debates, and I'm not even kidding when I tell you that. See, initially, Jin Mei was accused of gatekeeping their daughter, but she has now responded to these accusations, stating that she is only trying to protect Monaco from Jesus' firearms. It has to do with the type of relationship you have and the type of respect you have for that person to mirror things back to you where you actually would stop you in your tracks and evaluate yourself, you know? According to court documents that were obtained, Jeannie denied the allegations of gatekeeping and claimed that she's been accommodating to Jesus' requests for custody time. She even mentioned that she's given him extended time over the Christmas holiday. However, she emphasized that safety is her first priority and wants Jesus to keep and lock away his firearms if he wants to be with Monaco. When Jeezy decided to seek legal action, to put make a custody schedule between him and Jeannie. She wasn't keeping their daughter from him, but the way it was explained is like, they're having a hard time agreeing on, like you're gonna get her on this holiday or I'm gonna get her, or how, how much they're splitting their time. So that's why he's like, okay, well, do a schedule. Even her lawyers voiced her concerns for the child's safety, insisting she's not gatekeeping, but just being responsible. The statement reads, it is essential to clarify that Mrs. Jenkins' insistence on reasonable safety measures being put in place, such as safely securing and locking away all fire ramps that have been unsecured in the past, as well as having familiarity and properly trained caregivers, is absolutely not gatekeeping, but rather a responsible effort to prioritize their daughter's well-being. It continued, this request are grounded in Mrs. Jenkins' genuine concern for the party's daughter's safety and security, especially when under the care of others and traveling across the country, and are reasonable protective measures, not an attempt to restrict Mr. Jenkins' access to their daughter. Hey, it's about picking up the pieces, it's about discovering me, mm -hmm. and being a mom to the best blessing in my life, my little girl, is of Monaco. So reliving my life and reparenting myself through this little girl has been the greatest gift of my life. Naturally, after this revelation went public, fans had mixed reactions. Some accused Jeannie for being racist, while some other reasonable understood her concerns for their daughter's safety. One fan claimed, safety is dang sure a concern if you're not together anymore. You are not there to keep a dang watchful eye and have more time to watch who is with your child or what they're doing. Plus, the daughter is a one-year-old and unable to speak to her mom about the surroundings and upkeep. Effective cooperating includes what both parents expect while the child is in the other parent's care. You work together to come to a middle ground and agree on things. If not, you're going to have a strained cooperating and that brings problems into the child's life. I talked about this before, how some men know how to say all the right things. They know they have sprinkling just enough therapy talk, just enough like, just enough to make you feel like they're, they're healing or healed or have done the work, knowing good well they're just as much the raggedy player as the next guy. They just spit a better game. Now, personally, I agree with Jeannie's point as well. This issue is not about race or any other factor, it is about ensuring the well-being of their child, so it really shouldn't be so hard to understand why Jeannie is concerned. I mean, if JC hasn't been responsible with his firearms in the past, now that they're no longer together, Jeannie won't be there to ensure that dangerous items are put away or to remind him to remove bullets from his gun. The situation could be extremely dangerous, especially with the one-year-old involved. Not None of us would want to hear tragic news about a child being harmed due to a parent's recklessness. Besides, Jeannie is not denying Jeezy the opportunity to see his child. She's simply asking him to safely secure his fire ram if he wants more time with Monaco. This seems like a reasonable request to prioritize the safety of their daughter, right? Besides, it is not a difficult task to lock away fire 
cramps properly. In fact, I think this is just a small price to pay for the well-being of their child. But of course, who am I kidding? Nothing about Ginny has been positively portrayed because according to claims, JZ is trying all he can to secure a win against Ginny even if it means pulling dirty media tricks. See, this response comes after JZ filed court documents in Fulton County last month stating that he and Ginny agreed upon a visitation schedule through the end of 2023 but the situation was becoming increasingly less feasible. Neo was falling for it, people all over the internet were falling for it, everybody's like oh jeez, oh he's so in touch with his feelings, oh he that man is a player, okay? They try to act like they're so evolved, they're so mature, they've done the work. I don't care how much a man says he's a healed man, make sure you see evidence of that healing before you ever believe it. His statement read, the lack of consistency, continuity and stability inherently associated with such a haphazard and fluid parenting time schedule is stressful to the child and it has as in unfortunately inevitable with all families in transition created unnecessary tension and confusion regarding not only parenting time but also in regard to each parent's role and rights when the child is in their respective custody but this wasn't just in filing according to claims Jesse was trying to retaliate after Jenny seemingly hinted that he had cheated on her. In case you missed it, according to the posted snippets of the lawsuit, Jenny has alleged that Jesus supposedly cheated, but she did not want to state publicly the conduct and was hoping they could settle the matter of their division of assets out of court. She is now claiming that Jeezy cheated on her. According to legal docs obtained by TMZ, Jeannie more than insinuates her estranged husband is guilty of infidelity. Her lawyer writes, wife reserves the right to amend this counterclaim to add other grounds for divorce, but which wife does not wish to specify here and at this time in the hope this matter can be resolved can be resolved. Her statement read, wife reserves the right to amend this counterclaim to add other grounds for divorce, but which wife does not wish to specify herein at this time in the hope this matter can be resolved without having to disclose such conduct publicly. Her filing also refers the infidelity clause, which was wide to include all forms of cheating and even sexually suggestive text via social media DMs. Now, to even make matters worse for Jeezy, According to a shocking report by his ex-associate, he was indeed cheating on Jeannie with multiple women and lying about his past. The ex-associate, who also revealed that he was a childhood friend to Jeezy, introduced himself as Big Match and he claimed that he had proof of Jeezy's infidelity and his honesty. He said that he had text messages, photos and videos of Jeezy with other women, some of whom he made on social media. So it really doesn't matter if he cheated or not, important thing is, they have all made it clear they're done. So what's left is to provide the very best for their daughter and that for me includes putting your firearms away in a safe place. That is not too hard to do if you really want more time with your child, right? Anyway, what do you think about Jin Mei's response to the accusations of gatekeeping? Do you think she's being racist or do you understand her safety concerns? Let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like and watch our next video.